Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the first half of November of 2020 Spiritual Guidance Reading. I've been guided to direct my energy into and towards those who may be dealing with some form of depression, someone who may know someone who is maybe depressed. Uh, depression takes place when our chakras are out of balance, right? Uh, sadness, fear, worry, uh, all of that happens when we don't know what we're supposed to be doing here on earth, right? We all have a soul's purpose. We even decided on that purpose and agreed on our way in here, right? In the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, right? Where we have temptations, illnesses, obsessions, addictions. We are to go through trusting that spirit will guide us into the highest, best journey as soon as we discover what really, truly fulfills us. So, First things first, if you're asking, Josie, how do I know if I'm grounded? How do I know if my chakras are in balance? Well, we always start with the base chakra. The base chakra is about taking, maybe starting out with 10 minutes of shutting off the music, playing soft music, lighting it, shutting off the TV. Okay, in the midst of silence, See how long you can meditate, whether it's staring out the window. It's just sitting in that quiet energy because we have so much going on around us. Uh, maybe day to day taking that same amount of time and stretching a little bit. While at the same time, trusting that as you pray to spirit for signs and synchronicities, that spirit will help bring something to your attention that will guide you towards your truth, which is your sole purpose. So as you ground yourself, eventually uh, it is time to decide what is it I am passionate about? What is it that I'd love to create at this time? And what would be my long-term goals? For uh, once we realize what that is, it is the sacral chakra that kind of lights up. Uh, it's below our stomach. It's a very passionate energy. And then it gets us to the point where, hey, I'm going into the solar plexus of, I want to do this, but I need to research things about it. I want to research it because it's exciting to me. I want to create something and see how good I'm at, at it or move on to another idea, and so on. Sometimes the discovery of a soul's purpose could take months, some could take years, some take lifetimes, right? We have the famous singers and painters and um, skiers and etc. because those people are balanced. They figured out their purpose. They set goals and intentions. They were excited about the future because they knew what they were trying to create. So uh, once you know what you're creating, then it's about learning with the solar plexus. It's about really experiencing what you're learning, practicing what you're learning so that your heart chakra can light up. Once your heart chakra lights up, you start to feel thankful for the gift. Thank you for, for the knowledge to spirit. Hopefully, thanking spirit uh, in daily prayers for the people and uh, places and blessings that we have in the journey that we were blessed with, right? Our family and our friends are our soulmates. Once you get to a point where you're really feeling fulfilled by something you're passionate about, then the throat chakra starts to light up. Uh, there's a nudging that it is time to communicate what you have learned with others. It's time to share your gifts and express your creativity with others. Remember, uh, in Hebrews, he learned through he learned obedience through what he suffered. okay? So sometimes it's the most difficult experience in the past that led us to what we were supposed to do. Uh, it's difficult because we are meant to remember it. So that when you say you get sober or you rise above some form of behaviors or patterns and you decide to change things up, uh, that's when 
you realized what the lesson was about. You know, once we learn something sometimes about ourselves, our truth, what we had to experience in order to get this inner strength, this self-confidence, then you're going to feel uh, not only the throat chakra being lit up as you create uh, with and connect with others, your creativity, but when the third eye chakra lights up, we have you trusting in faith. Once we share what we're creating with another or others, uh, spirit is speaking to us through other people to help guide us. Should I stay with this idea? Should I move on to the next and so on? So when the third eye chakra is lit up, there's a realization. Uh, there's like a clearly observing and witnessing uh, the aspects of the truth you are manifesting. So the results as you share with others. And then your crown chakra is that star that shines off the top of your head, right? A silver beautiful crown where one realizes their fullest potential. Where one starts to really honor uh, with spirit and is thankful for those gifts and the realization of those gifts and someone who is giving thanks to continually being able to nurture those gifts, right? So that when we get completely clear about the direction, what we're creating, who we were meant to be, our truth, there is a great spiritual awakening of one's soul purpose. And that is beautiful. Once we discover our purpose through what we've had to experience or what we wanted to learn more about, then we can teach others. Even when we're teaching others, there could be someone that comes along who's very centered and knows their goals and they could teach us something as well. That is the goal, to obtain self-mastery, uh, balance, and then to create something that you can share with the world. So I was drawn to the chakra deck by, what is that, Rochelle Charmin, and I'm going to do a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever, I totally just spaced out, Scorpio. I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the first half of November of 2020. Creativity, boom, perfect. So at the beginning of November, say the first week of November of 2020, we have a Scorpio here who is being guided to continue to create or to start to manifest what it is you want to create. When I look at this card, it's like here are the thoughts and here is the realization of what you are manifesting via your creativity. So Scorpio, in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we have Mother Earth. This is when we are giving birth to a new path of sorts via creativity. In the relationship sector to another or others during the first half of November of 2020, we have a Scorpio who is receiving the personal power energy, feeling very powerful because of what you are giving birth to when it comes to your creativity. Beautiful. So in the foundation, in the creative aspects position, we have nurturing. Uh, creating an ability to nurture others, to mother others, to care for others, to support and help guide others, to create some form of nurturing, maybe helping others, helping children, uh, going and feeding, uh, serving dinners or food to people who are homeless. Um, there's some personal power here in relation to others because this Scorpio, by the beginning of November, knows what new path they want to nurture and create. So in the actions position, we have spiritual awareness, right? This is the crown chakra. I'm taking action to free myself from old wounds and to allow spirit to guide me into a path of creativity, a new beginning where I can nurture both myself and others, where I start to recognize my power. Um, wow. So in the emotional aspects position, we, of course, have the heart chakra, perfect spot, by I'm getting the 18th for some Scorpios. Uh, there is emotional love here, where maybe there wasn't before. And, and you're trying to create nurturing energy within you to become a mother figure, a wife figure, however that may apply, so that you can free yourself from old obstacles and worries tied to the past. So you can allow spirit to bring you this great strength in the relationship sector, while at the same time opening your heart to love. So 
in the subconscious position, Scorpio, you have flexibility. Uh, now would be a good time to uh, create uh, with your personal power of the manifestation of nurturing. Okay, someone is really being nudged by spirit to create a way to help others. Uh, others are being guided to clear their mind and understand that you can nurture and love others and still be strong. And that's why spirit saying remain flexible as things ebb and flow. Continue to create some form of nurturing in your life or nurture yourself by creating. For some, um, subconsciously, I always notice this yoga energy. Uh, so whatever uh, class will help ground you. Maybe it's an oil painting class or just buying a video and getting the supplies. Maybe it's a class with Reiki or yoga where you can learn at home. Or that's something that Scorpio is uh, working on right now. Interesting. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have abundance day-to-day. -day because you are creating uh, something that nurtures you. Uh, with the number three, uh, Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost is nurturing you. Because you're giving birth to your personal power. And you are able to come into a spiritual awakening through your actions of who and or what you really love. So in your inner strengths position, Scorpio, we have spirit giving you the strength in the area of family. So we have mother earth and family on her mind. We have, I would like to create a nurturing and abundant path filled with love. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take action to free my mind from what didn't work and to know that I have great personal strength as I create something in my life and remain flexible as things ebb and flow, knowing that, uh, you know, I'm not standing in my way. When we get worried or we focus on what didn't work, we actually block things from evolving, right? So something maybe didn't work and now it's coming back around. And old patterns, behaviors, and cycles could prevent something from happening that you've been worried about or that you were hoping for. I do see abundance here day to day, giving thanks to the abundant things of your life and then having the strength in the area of family to go through some form of spiritual awakening. Nurturing and love gives you the power to create flexibility in your life. What you love is going to bring abundance and this new beginning. Wow. So on the bottom of the deck, we have dreams. And Spirit is saying, if you are a Scorpio with the number two in 26, who is dreaming about a new path, a connection, circumstance, situation, idea, project, and etc., the six represents success. Two plus six is eight. Eight is about realizing what didn't work, sidestepping that, and now stepping into your personal power, remaining flexible as you create, knowing that as you nurture your creative energies, that there will be abundance. And there will be an awakening here as well. Maybe now you can open your heart more to family because you can let go of some form of worries here. Yeah, look at this. Don't give up, Scorpio. Um, for by mid to end of November of 2020, we do have determination going against the flow. When the flow isn't going for you, don't give up. For someone here is discovering their life's purpose. Beautiful. They're getting ready to step into a new doorway with the number 22. Going from one person, place, circumstance, situation, or idea into the direction of another. Going through a rebirth where you are now uh, nurturing, more nurturing, opening your heart to love, healing your heart because of a rebirth. And for some of you, there's communication with others about who you are becoming, what you are creating, realizing with great clarity with the third eye chakra here, your inner strength and the ability to find peace through inspirational thoughts, right? So they're definitely nudging you to have positive thoughts. You know, it's all those negative thoughts that we had regarding, I hate my job, I hate my work, I hate my life, I that, that, that. And so what that did is it caused the karmic result of then spirit's going to put a stop to everything until people get clear about what they want. You know, so COVID came along and now um, we've had a moment to pause and reflect 
and say, do I want that job? Do I want to create my own job? What am I doing in this moment? A pause. What is my soul's purpose? I'm going to clarify the spiritual awakening card during this general reading. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below the this video. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. All right, clarifying spiritual awareness. Coming into an awareness with the six of wands that someone here is or was receiving a lot of attention, recognition, passionate maybe communication, but now with the eight of cups, they're walking away from a situation. You are being blessed with the hanged man energies to stop and look at things from everywhere every perspective before making a decision. Um, yeah, There is a Scorpio here who maybe by the 6th of November of 2020 is going to receive some form of offer of success. Uh, some may be thinking about traveling into the direction of this Queen of Pentacles. Could be someone in a leadership position, could be someone financially abundant, secure, and stable. Um, Traveling into the direction. So some may be leaving, it looks like maybe a water sign behind or a fire sign. Sagittarius or Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and instead travel into the direction of maybe an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or into the direction of a better paying position. You know, I know now what I want to create. I'm going to remain flexible. I'm going to work on me, but I'm also going to wait and see what transpires regarding those around me. So I'm waiting and on the three of pentacles, right? Waiting to come together and work things out with another or others financially and or materially. Yeah, someone's waiting for success here. And Spirit saying with the Four of Wands, it's kind of a moment before things start to rock and roll. Okay, take a moment to pause before moving forward towards success. Wait for the right timing. Someone here may be getting tired of trying to uh, connect. I'm getting maybe with a water sign like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And then we have a lot of fantasy and illusion with the Seven of Cups wanting to come together and create something, but having uh, the hanged man energy, which is good. Uh, Spirit is helping for you to wait. You know, there's a lot of love here in the emotional aspects position. But we have someone here with the Five of Pentacles energies who's kind of feeling like they're walking out in the world alone. They want to get to the truth of a situation. They want the sun to shine down upon them, be it another or you, be it personal or professional. And let's see, we've got Strength and the Magician. You have the strength to manifest an ending, an escape, a way out. But there's confusion and illusion with the moon. Fearing that if someone here is sneaky or dishonest, that the wheel of fortune, ah, someone may be a little bit sneaky around you, but continue to nurture your creativity. See it, the three of wands. For your ship will come in and a wish will come true personally. Now we have a new path with someone who may have earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or indecision with two wands here. Which path, which direction am I passionate about? Remember, Spirit's helping you to free yourself from conflict in the area of family, commitment, partnership, group of people. Yeah, hoping for an offer to come because this Scorpio with the Ten of Swords is feeling like their sanctuary has turned into an uncomfortable coffin. That's what the author says. So there's a need to speak the truth, maybe to someone who has Gemini in their chart with the lover's energy or about what it is you're passionate about. Wanting to connect with someone in a leadership position uh, so that you can um, step into greater abundance. There's just a lot of worry and stalemate energy here. So nurture your abundance. Wait when it comes to a new beginning in love. Remain flexible and stand clear with your boundaries as you work on your own abundance. Uh, there's some healing that it needs to take place or that is taking place uh, for uh, the Scorpio. 
uh, maybe healing regarding family and that caused uh, a blockage when it came to opening up to love but I do feel like your dreams can come true but now is just a moment of indecision uh, so now is a moment like there's a stalemate energy and I do feel like it's just the energy around us at this time I do want to quick also look at this energy of spiritual awakening and love so I can see is this going in a good direction or a bad spirit saying remain flexible but number nine is about an end in fact 18 one plus nine is an ending look at that the world something is going full circle and with the empress two major arcanas I'm giving birth to a new path a new direction going towards maybe the king of wands which would be a passionate masculine or someone who has fire in his chart Sag Aries or Leo leaving a path behind working to make a wish come true Hoping for a light at the end of the tunnel, especially in the area of money, but feeling stuck or trapped because of outside situations. Wanting a new chapter with someone who is either a very passionate masculine, meaning they're maybe passionate about what they do, a boss, a leader, business owner, whatever, um, or someone who has fire in their chart. There's love here, uh, but focus on your creativity in the first half of November. Uh, free your mind from unhealthy uh, worries, fears, and things tied to the past, especially if it involves family remain flexible as you contemplate nurturing a new journey your abundance is for sure coming and I think that as the abundance arrives through your creativity that's what's going to give you this inner strength most importantly in love you can make a wish come true um, but right now they're saying this direction is indeed your life's purpose you're going through a rebirth there's healing and then a need to communicate true thoughts with one another so this could be a, another person this could be a business partner wow I went a little long with this one I could tell you a lot of stuff about this but again if this resonates at spirit saying we want to you know give you more information email me at josiek42 at gmail.com thank you to those of you who have commented in the comment section below telling me how these energies or messages resonated uh, in your journey thank you to those of you who have liked shared and subscribed most importantly to those of you who have donated to keep the channel up and running take care and God bless